Covalent Bonding and Lewis Diagrams The Octet Rule Atoms tend towards having a full shell electron configuration. For most atoms, that means having eight valence electrons, hence the word octet. In covalent bonding, an atom will share electrons in an effort to obtain eight electrons around it, with a few exceptions as shown below. For example, hydrogen only needs two, beryllium only needs four electrons, and boron only needs six electrons. Lewis structures are diagrams that show valence electrons as dots. They are also known as Lewis dot or electron dot diagrams. Note that no electrons are paired until after the fourth one, with the exception of helium. So here's hydrogen, lithium, you add a second electron to beryllium, you don't pair it off. Then you go to boron, carbon, now you have four electrons, finally you can start pairing off the electrons. Two nonmetals will share electrons to complete their outer shell. Hydrogen and fluorine both need one electron to complete their outer shell. So here you have two hydrogens and they join together and they have a shared pair of electrons, right? This blue one is from the blue hydrogen and the green is from the green hydrogen. Obviously the electrons and hydrogen do not have colors. This is just to help you visualize it. Then you have fluorine over here to form F2. They share these electrons right here. So they have a shared pair of electrons between them and each one now has eight electrons. A Lewis dot structure will commonly represent the covalent bonds by dashes. As in the examples below, one shared pair of electrons is represented by one dash. So in the previous slide, we had hydrogen there with the shared pair of electrons. You replace that with a dash. You have the two fluorines over here. You replace these two electrons with a dash. Now you keep all the other electrons as dots. A pair of valence electrons that is not shared between atoms is called an unshared pair, also known as a lone pair or a non-bonding pair. So here we go. Here's a lone pair. Here's a lone pair. Actually, all these guys are lone pairs. And over here on the nitrogen. There are seven steps to help you draw Lewis structures. One, find the total number of valence electrons in the compound. Two, the central atom is the least electronegative element, excluding hydrogen because it can only have one bond. Connect the other atoms to it by single bonds, then count each single bond as a pair of electrons. Continued on the next slide. Step 5. Add electrons to the outer atoms to give each one 8, which is a full shell. Remember the exceptions. Do the same for the central atom. Then finally check your work. Does each atom have a full outer shell? Have you used up all the valence electrons? Have you used too many electrons? Let's work a couple of examples. Step 1. Find the total number of valence electrons in the compound. What do we have here? We have phosphorus trichloride. So the phosphorus atom over here, well the picture shows it as five valence electrons, but there's another way to find it out. Look at the group number. What's the last number? Five. Five valence electrons. A chlorine atom, again, the picture shows seven, but it's in group 17, so it has seven valence electrons, and there are three of them. One, two, three. Total number of valence electrons, five, plus three times seven, 26. The central atom, which is phosphorus, is the least electronegative element, and we exclude hydrogen with this rule. So how do we know that? Here's phosphorus, electronegativity of 2.1, and here's chlorine, 3.0. So phosphorus is the central atom. The chlorine atoms will surround the phosphorus atom. So we draw it like this, and single bonds are shown as single lines. So we have 26 valence electrons we have to account for. So step four, count each single bond as a pair of electrons. So we'll write it down here. That's two, two, two on each bond. Add electrons to the outer atoms to give each one eight, which is a full shell. Well, it looks like we already have them, right? Here's two, four, six, eight. So we're good there, okay? 
So we have six there for that chlorine. We have six here. We have six here, of course, in addition to the electrons over here. Now, do the same for the central atom. Well, we have two, four, six, so we add these two right there. So now that has eight. Check, does each atom have a full outer shell? Yes, they all have eight electrons surrounding them. Have you used up all the valence electrons? Well, let's erase that, and we'll go ahead and count it again to make sure we've accounted for all the valence electrons. So let's start with the dots here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Then each bond has 2. 20, 22, 24. Then phosphorus has 2, 26. Yep, we're good. Now let's try ammonia. Find the total number of valence electrons in the polyatomic ion or molecule. Well, we have hydrogen here, has one valence electron. Nitrogen is over here. And you can count them and see that it is 5, or you can look here at the group number, which is 15. 5 is the last digit, 5 valence electrons. So the total number of electrons is 5 from nitrogen, and then 3, right? 3 times 1 for hydrogen. The total number is 8. The central atom is the least electronegative element, excluding hydrogen, because it can only have one bond. So this time, we don't even need a table of electronegativities. Connect the other atoms to it by single bonds. So here's nitrogen in the middle, and we connect it with the three hydrogens by single bonds. Count each single bond as a pair, or two electrons. Now add electrons to the outer atoms to give each one a full shell, which is only two in the case of hydrogen. So each hydrogen already has two electrons, so that's done. But we need to add electrons to N to make 8, to nitrogen. So we have 2, 4, 6, so we add these two dots here. So that makes 8. So now check. Does each atom have a full outer shell? Well, let's erase what we have here and count them again and see what we have. Okay, hydrogen has 2. That's good. This hydrogen has 2. That's full. This hydrogen has 2. And nitrogen has 2, 4, 6, Eight, so those are full outer shells. Have you used up all the valence electrons that you started with? Well, we started with eight, so do we have eight now? Once again, let's erase everything here. Count one more time. Two, four, six, eight. We're good.